we present HQ3D avatar, a new approach to render human heads at high quality using multi-resolution hash encoding. Our approach is trained using multi-view data and the end goal of our model is to create a high quality personalized 3D head model. During inference, our model can be controlled from a monocular input and can be viewed from arbitrary camera viewpoints. Now, we show dynamic free viewpoint synthesis results produced by our model. This example showcases the impressive level of photorealism exhibited by our model which is particularly evident as we progressively zoom in towards the subject. This example demonstrates the capacity of our model to generate highly detailed renderings of the mouth interior. Our model accurately captures fine details, including hair with high visual fidelity and faithfully reproduces subtle movements such as eye blinks. In the following example, we showcase a speaking subject and demonstrate how accurately our model reproduces their lip syncing. Interesting to see where like there, uh, the mother is very, um, very headstrong and very uh, rigid, whereas the rest of the family is a lot more looser and a lot crazier. And then you also have... Um... All this favors for them, he got actually some favors for himself too. So he actually make a life in the prison for himself. After a while, he understand that uh, there, is, uh, there is an evidence that can actually solve, solve his problem and, you know, we show independent control over the rigid head pose and expressions. We also show a rendering of a dynamic human head avatar at 2K resolution for the first time in the literature. We demonstrate a setting in which our model can render in real time at a resolution of 480 by 270. Zap friends, jolt my wax bed. Five or six big jet planes zoom it quickly by the tower. Five wine experts. We show side by side visualizations of the RGB render, depth, and surface normals. Now we show comparisons with the state of the art. We compare against the state of the art in multi view human head reconstruction approaches, mixture of volumetric primitives, MVP. We highlight that MVP struggles to render details in regions that are sparsely captured by our camera setup, such as the highlighted region. We compare against Nerve Blend Shape++. Plus Plus. Nerve Blend Shape++ Plus Plus suffers from artifacts when the mouth is undergoing deformations. We compare against Hyper Nerve++. Plus Plus and remark that our model produces overall sharper results in comparison. Now, we show the critical design choices of our approach. We show the result of conditioning the canonical radiance field network on features obtained from the image encoder. We observe that without conditioning the canonical radiance field network on features obtained from the image encoder, 
leads to blurry results in the mouth region. We highlight the impact of using an optical flow based loss. We observe that an optical flow based loss helps produce temporally stable and artifact free rendering in regions such as the eye and the mouth. We also show improvement over instant NGP for reconstruction of a static scene. We observe that a model trained without using a canonical space leads to lower quality details. Now we show a novel application where we drive the subject from a viewpoint unseen during model training. We simulate training data at a viewpoint that is not used to train our model. Observe the high visual similarity between the synthesized data at the holdout viewpoint and the real data at the holdout viewpoint. We use the synthesized data to fine-tune our model to be driven from the holdout viewpoint. This fine-tuning using highly photorealistic synthesized data enables us to control the subject from the holdout viewpoint. Body, jaw to pressure, sphincter. Fable reader with jaded, rowing eye, seized by a quickened impulse to expand budget. Five big quacking. We show an application in which the avatar can be driven using a parametric head model. We observe that expression transfer fails when the 3D MM based tracker fails to track the driving subject's expression accurately. We observe that our approach of driving the model using 3DMM rasterized images performs better than directly feeding the 3DMM expression parameters or encoding the expression parameters via an MLP. We highlight a limitation of our approach. Our model struggles to reproduce details when the subject performs expressions exhibiting strong disocclusions, such as pulling out the tongue from inside the mouth. Thank you for watching.